we're actually concentrating on solving on-demand last mile delivery problems. Kennedy, I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I, I would like to, you know, be the first autonomous last mile delivery robot in Southeast Asia. We're actually the first, you know, uh, not in Singapore, not in Thailand, but in Malaysia. You can see that in Malaysia. Okay, so TARS is actually a last mile delivery robot. Um, so let's say when you place an online food order, the robot will be ready at the food, food stall or restaurant, you know, to pick up the food. So uh, once it pick, picks up your food, it will deliver autonomously uh, to your doorstep. And behind this technology, you uh, we use our main sensor, it's called LiDAR. So LiDAR is basically a sensor that for you to pre-map the whole environment. And after pre-mapping the whole environment, you can deploy the robot in, the, in that scenario, and then you can start moving autonomously. Our robot cars is more like a smaller version of self-driving car. We will try to make it, you know, less complicated compared to self-driving cars. But you know, in the future, um, because we, we're currently covering um, delivery orders within two kilometers, but let's say from you know uh, more than five kilometers, we will start, you know, uh, deploying self-driving car like autonomous robots on the roads to deliver more orders and then more, uh, you know, long lo longer distance. Yeah. So I, I would say we'll be using self-driving cars to do that, but, but currently not now. That may be, you know, that, that that's a plan maybe for the next following three to five years. Yeah, we, 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 we actually received many, you know, business inquiries about hotel delivery robot and restaurant delivery robot, but, but uh, we, we, we think that there are already too many, you know, players in, in the market. So we, that, that's why we, we, we try to uh, focus on outdoor because you know uh, outdoor is more difficult and harder because in you know that there you, you have to make a robot to you know to be suitable for different scenarios let's say if you design this robot in, in China but in Malaysia there are two different scenarios so you have to like you know uh, localize or modify your, your your algorithms or maybe your parameters so, so, so that your robot will work in Malaysia You know, I, I'll be very interested, uh, you know, in, in working with, with university, let's say UM, UTM, USM. I think they have great resources and talents, you know, in, in, in their institutes and, and departments. Yeah, I will, I will be very happy working with them, you know, to, to boost the whole autonomous industry together, not just by ourselves. Mm -hmm.